I have now taped a GoPro to its teak. Oops. I have now turned on said GoPro on the teak. And I guess Steve wants to shove this in a hole. That's what she said. And um, look at what's inside that closet. I haven't showed them the hole you cut in the closet. Okay, I should go show them that hole then. Yeah. So to get, to get access to the wiring, I made a hole in the closet. And I don't know if the low light is good enough. Yeah, you can kind of see it. But anyway, there's a hole. That's where the conduit will be coming up to the third floor. And we're trying to figure out where the floor joists are. So we have a GoPro on a stick. On a stick! Because <laughs> you know that's where your GoPros belong. Right. On a stick! Do you know where the flashlight went? Nope. <laughs> is it on your desk? Yes. Okay. Flashlight's bright. All right, this one is facing the bedroom. I hope you get some light in there. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, not lose the GoPro in well, the ceiling. It's on a stick. I'm trying to get the flashlight to. It's on a stick. The majority of it. All right, so that's clip one. Oh, now we're doing separate clips? Well, just to make it easier for ourselves. I guess. Alright, so I think the next step is we're going to need to open the chunk from the puncture over to the wall against the kids' room. Okay. Which we probably needed to do anyway to get the pipe in there. Well, yeah, I thought I thought that was the case. But I wasn't sure to what degree we were going to have to open it because there might be some sideways things going on. Okay. Um, so... Now we're going to sort of do an exploratory opening. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I'm wearing is like a, almost a surgical mask is probably not good We need your gloves. The <laughs> we we're must explore. Exploratory surgery. Um, <laughs> we must see where the cancer lies in this house. <laughs> We've already found that. It was on the first floor. <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to need to open that. Okay. At least all the way across. Because we've established that at least for this chunk, the joists run in this direction. Which makes sense because of the stairway. Which what? you didn't think of in the, well, when I first pointed out. You're like, why? Why would they do that? I'm like, Steve, it is a staircase. Well, you can't do it that way. Does make sense. So I'm hoping mm -hmm. that, the, well, there's probably no consistency, but at least for here, it mm -hmm. runs this direction. I don't know if they then switched to run this way. I don't know. But yeah, you're going to have to pop this baby open and find out. Right. Which is going to create quite a mess. You are necessary. So. Hi. We made some further progress on the downstairs. We have the pipe run all the way from the third floor down to the second floor, and then it ends right up here in this ceiling. Uh, you can see my red marks here where I'm gonna have to cut a little bit further. Uh, the first hole was primarily just for uh, like an exploration type thing. So let me show you what we found up there, and then I'll elaborate with what we gotta do. So this is a non-contact electrical testing tool. It's made by Klein Tools. Uh, the whole idea is it uses the electromagnetic field generated by alternating current uh, to tell you if there's current that's live nearby without actually like physically making contact like you have to do with a voltmeter. So basically you can hold it up here near this light and then you get it close, it turns red and it beeps. Uh, so we're going to use this to basically confirm if our knob and tube is indeed live, as I suspect it might be. So we will bring it up and yes. So that means that there is power in that knob and tube wiring that I'll have to go find a breaker for. This is what it looks like after we make the cuts. Uh, those are done with an oscillating multi-tool. This is a, I think it was a Harbor Freight buy, but the blade on here is a carbide tipped wheel that uh, shakes back and forth very quickly. It's actually designed to cut stone in masonry, uh, but our plaster is so hard that it was shredding the other bits, so I ended up just switching to that, and it's done a nice job. So I trace the red outlines with that, and then the next step is to uh, take a hammer and a chisel and start knocking the plaster off the furring strips. So we'll get that done. Alright, we should be able to work with that. It's not good enough? It might be pointing a little far this way, but close enough that I could probably get it to bend.
going to be a relatively short run in between those two pieces. So. Correct. Alright, we can work with that. Let's hope I don't have any PVC glue on my fingers. Yeah, you can kind of see right here, there's a pile of plaster and other things. Come on, focus. I'm having a hard time focusing in that hole. Maybe because the lighting is far back. All right, yeah, it's the lighting. Okay, so there's a pile of junk right up in here. It's like plaster and wood and other debris. There's some back in there too from where I drilled my holes. Anyway, I want to get all that out of here because I need to run the conduit up through here. And then we're going to tap in to the elbow up there. So, things are looking much better up here. We have a pair of conduits. Uh, this one on the left is the one that goes to the third floor. And then I also ran this set of elbows, which is one inch conduit, instead of the inch and a quarter we have on the left. And that one goes up and terminates on the second floor. So this will be what we use to do the uh, second floor bedrooms. And then this one will go to the third floor bedroom and the office. So I have these elbows done. This was a real pain in the ass to get these working around the old knob and tube wiring, which we did figure out was still live on two different circuits. So I had to turn all that off and then run all of these pipes and then we can power that back up again once we're done working. But things are looking good. Next I have to uh, take some measurements of the distance from here to this stud. Because I know where this terminates in the basement, I can see the nails sticking through and we have this uh, rubber wire that we're able to uh, see down there as well. So I need to measure the distance from this stud here over to the center hole for that conduit and for this one. And then I can drill up through the floor for both of those. And then it'll basically uh, let me insert pipe from the basement up and then we can just glue the joints here. And that means I don't have to open this entire wall all the way down to the floor, which would be fantastic. And inevitably something will go wrong and prevent something like that. But hopefully we get lucky and it just works. All right, we just finished up our glue joints for the second floor conduit and third floor conduit. So now it's time to go prank Allie. All right, so this is the bottom end of our conduits here. Third floor, second floor, which means that if I were to go Ricola, you're not supposed to hear me until I do the prank. So you heard the whole conversation? <laughs> well, I'm talking to you at the moment. Yeah, considering that you're, what about? 25 feet above me. That's crazy. But exciting. All right, I think she's gone. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to take some of the spare coax that I pulled out of the ceiling. I'll take a piece of that and then force it up through there so that we can do our first run. And then I'll yank it from the other end with electrical cable attached and we will officially have new power that we can trust all the way to the third floor. For context, because I didn't find any of this view in the film that I just went through, this is where we had to cut for the third floor conduit. It goes up through the ceiling, right there. He cut this whole thing, you saw him cut it. And then we had to cut out this whole junk of wall. And then the second floor, Terminates in that little hole right there. Okay, go ahead. Allie. Allie.
Keep going. All right, pause here. Yeah, white wires. I have some cable. Okay, we should take a break. <laughs> uh, the orange spool is suspended from the ceiling. Lighter weight wire followed by something. 